Welcome back to Medical Monday. We're here with Dr. Leif Swanson, who is a dental surgeon. But tonight we're talking about sleep relief solutions. If you suffer from sleep apnea or just have an inclination that you do, well, we're here to help tonight. Go ahead and give us a call. 615-737-PLUS is the number. We've already had some great people call in and ask great questions, so we'd love to answer yours as well. We're talking primarily about this oral appliance, much like a retainer, Correct. and how it's an alternative to the uh, CPAP machine, which most people know what that is. Mm -hmm. big, big kind of bulky mask you wear with the machine on the side of the bed. How do people travel with that, by the way? Is it? Well, they do have they do have travel cases yeah. that they have with them, but they're pretty bulky. And I mean, it, it you know, if you're using a carry on and you're trying to use the right the the carrying case for the CPAP, it makes it a lot more difficult, especially for the people that do a lot of traveling in the business. With this, it's basically like an orthodontic retainer. It's really small. It's easy to put in right. your little toiletry bag and. I think when you go through the scanner, it doesn't it doesn't beep, doesn't so you're beep good. Doesn't beep at all. <laughs> if people are at home and saying, "Honey, you're I know you got this sleep apnea. Where do you start?" Good question. So the first thing I would say is if you're certain that they're going and they're gasping with uh, air at night mm -hmm. and they're snoring loud, the first thing I would do is recommend having them do a, a sleep study. And in my office, we actually have take-home sleep studies, which makes it really convenient. You don't have to go to a sleep clinic and be plugged up with right. all the... With a hundred different electrodes the coming The different off electrodes you. and sleeping in an uncomfortable right. place and sleeping around uncomfortable people. Yes. So with this, it's Show very it simple. Oh, yeah, sure. It's basically... Uh, let me open the case. Wow. Yeah, so... It's essentially a little headband that goes over your head, has um, a nose cannula that just fits in the nose like that. It's simple instructions to hook up. We prefer you to wear it for at least six hours so we get the correct data. And it gives us data like position of how you're sleeping mm -hmm. and, and what position you're sleeping to where you're snoring. Um, it even tells you how loud you're snoring. The most importantly, it tells us the apneas per hour. And apneas meaning going without breath for over 10 seconds, like I said before. That also tells us what kind of percentage of oxygen saturation that you're getting through the, the cannulas. So all that information is very crucial for most making a diagnosis from like either a mild or mm -hmm. severe case and how to treat that and which device to use to treat that. Mild, moderate, severe, what mm -hmm. is correct for this appliance? So most of the time with severe, it, they have obstructed and central mm -hmm. apnea. Which and is more of a nerve issue, right? It's, very, it's, a, it's a neurological issue. It's where your brain is not allowing, you know, your muscles and your airway to be able to open. In a situation like that, even though we've treated some, you know, to kind of pull it, if we're able to pull that jaw f far enough forward, you know, we're still able to treat the severe, but most of the time, the doctors prefer to use a CPAP for mm -hmm. those. But anywhere from mild to moderate, and if they're able to wear the appliance and they have the teeth that are right. in correct position, then we're able to use the appliance and we have, you know, great compliance with that. Okay, let's head back to the phones. We have Joy calling in. Hi, Joy. Thanks for your call tonight. Yes. Hi, go ahead. Yes. Um, I am a mouth breather. Does this appliance, would it help me any with my sleep apnea? Mm. Oh, that's a great question, Joy. So with this appliance that we have that I brought today, so it allows you to open, but we also have some that have bands that go around them to actually close the mouth, but as they close the mouth, it still advances that, that bottom jaw or that mandible forward. So somebody that's a mouth breather, you know, first thing I would say too is with a mouth breather, sometimes you might need to see your ENT and just to check your tonsils and your uvula mm -hmm. to see if that's too enlarged because sometimes that can be an issue as well. But as far as the appliance is after that's been checked, you know, if you're still sleeping with your mouth open, you can still use this and it keeps it forward or we can put bands that'll draw it forward as well. Okay, great. 
Good question. Thank, thank you, Joy, for calling in. We also have Caitlin on the line. Caitlin, thank you so much for your call tonight. What's your question? Go ahead, Caitlin. My husband has sleep apnea, mm -hmm. and I was uh, wondering what I could do at home to help him because he refuses to stay overnight at the sleep clinic. There you go. We're talking about this at-home test. If you can explain it to Caitlin. Caitlin, I'm going to hang up so you can listen to your TV, okay? Um, but let's just, in case you missed the information about this take-home sleep test, which I totally understand people do not want to go to a sleep clinic. Caitlin, I, I hear this question a lot because it's mostly the spouses of, <laughs> of the men that call in and, like, I have a problem, and they typically bring their husband yeah. to the appointment. But this is what, I think this is what makes it attractive for the take home sleep study. We can get all the information we need. You come to our office, you pick it up. It's a simple exchange of the take home sleep study with a few instructions. You take that home and as long as we're getting a minimum of six hours of data on the take home sleep study, um, we can have it diagnosed and the, a person from my office will call you with the results and go over them with you over the phone. So I don't think it can get, you know, right. that's pretty convenient, it you know, convenient. as far as not having to go through the process of going to a physician and mm -hmm. then the physician referring you to a sleep clinic, then a sleep clinic scheduling, you know, this is you just come and pick it up, you take it home. Is it just one night that you need as long as you get that one six night, hours? One night six hour data. Wow. Correct. You know, and, and when Caitlin calling in about her husband, you said you see a lot of these spouses. Mm -hmm. I think about the health being affected of those spouses who are still sleeping in the same bed of someone who is not being treated. That's a good point, Carrie, because once these patients, we do follow-ups with them, you know, not only they're saying, hey, my spouse is sleeping better, but I'm sleeping better too. Mm -hmm. And when he wakes up, he's in a lot better mood, <laughs> <laughs> which I think is... yeah definitely a win-win situation. It is, probably without headaches or jaw pain, better mood, mm -hmm. just can function better during the Absolutely. day. Absolutely. Not to mention, sleep apnea can increase the risk for heart episodes, for stroke, for diabetes, all Absolutely. kinds of things. And you know the point I'd like to drive home to the viewers is, you know, a lot of people don't know that they can feel better. Mm -hmm. And so I really want to convey that especially with the new year coming around and people always wanting to get yeah you know new year new you yeah this is you don't have to feel be tired of being tired anymore you can you can feel better and 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 just with the it, i always recommend people if if it's not you want to call the office you know just get online and take some of these these uh like the epworth sleeping a scale mm -hmm. some of these uh stop bang tests and just see if these things are are you know you're coming up with a formula like you're saying oh you're yeah this makes sense yeah. i'm falling asleep when i'm riding in the car or i'm falling asleep when i'm watching you mm -hmm. know channel five <laughs> we can't have that we can't have that no, no. <laughs> so you know these are things that i think when you answer these questions and you feel like this is this is something for you i think it's very imperative to you know have a sleep study done and you know get yourself feeling better and there's really no judgment so it's something you cannot control you cannot will yourself to not have sleep apnea or to sleep better no it okay. is a physical thing and here's the thing with this is over time it's it's almost like a chronic disease you know it slowly progresses until the, the person's acclimated mm -hmm. feeling like that it mm -hmm. doesn't it's something that just happens overnight it happens through a series of days weeks years and a person you know finally hopefully wakes up and said you know what i'm tired of feeling like this mm -hmm. i want to do something about it and so that's the thing i want to drop home to the viewers you know especially with the end of the year the first year coming forward Let's do something about it. Absolutely. Okay, we're going to take another quick break. More of your calls and questions when we come back. If you do want to call in during the break at 615-737-PLUS, we'll be right back.